Hello, look it up, people. Uh, today, no sounds other than the beautiful of my voice. Uh, my buddy Stefan from Toman uh, said, dude, you have to check out this new gig bag we have. I'm like, hey, let me check out this new gig bag we have. Because when we talk to each other, we talk with kind of like really cool, low, kind of Western voices. <laughs> Let's check out this new gig bag. But I thought if we check out this new gig bag, um, we need to put it in reference to something. So I made a pile of gig bags. Um, many different ones I have. That's not all the ones I have. I got more. But we're going to look at different new gig bags and see, first of all, where the new Toman gig bag ranges in quality and price and also what else is there and what I like and not like about gig bags. Let's make a big gig bag episode. Gig episode. So... Here's a brand new Voyager gig bag from Toman, which apparently I've been told in its first iteration, they had to glue something on and uh, the glue is smelly for about three days, but apparently they already vented it, le vent, and, um, and it doesn't smell anymore. I smell something. But that's only the first batch and they already fixed it as much as possible. You're not gonna die from it. Now that I ripped this open, it's already mine. So the idea here is to offer you a high quality gig bag for a good price. Um, we already have a very nice padded, super nicely padded handle. I mean, this is stuff you shouldn't underestimate or forget about because when you're carrying this through a city or whatever with a this Paul in it, this is nice. I like this. And then Toman is stitched on it. I really want to rip this off and then it's mine. Ooh, I can see that is nice. Let's look at the details here. We, do we need a detail camera? I think we need a detail camera. So see the um, zipper isn't re uh, uh, open. It actually has little flaps around it so no dirt or whatever can get into the zipper. And the Zipper handles are nice and big. So we have um, another stitched Toman logo right there. And I love the little trims in the Toman color. Um, I'm gonna think to myself that I had a little bit to do with that because you remember that four case, four guitar gig bag thing? Uh, which they're uh, working on and sending a prototype over. I said, let's make the seams and the little trims in the beautiful Toman color. And I said, let's make the insides not black. Well, you guys said, let's not make the insides black so that when you have cables and shit in it, so that you can see it. And I said, let's make the insides in the Toman color. Looks like someone who ordered this took my idea. Or maybe they had the same idea. Always possible. It's called Convergent Evolution little tag on it with Voyager. I love Voyager. That's a, um, music is our passion. That's, yeah, come on. Woo! So whatever is on here is slightly rubbery and non-slippy. And they're really nice and thickly padded. So when you have this on your back, you would be able, you would be able to carry your guitar for quite a while. Um, I need bags on gig, uh, bags, uh, external bags on gig bags. And we're going to get to that with all the other ones. Because when you're carrying a gig bag, you might be on a train, you might be on a plane, on a bus. Uh, I don't know. Go-kart. And you want as little as possible to have to put other stuff in, uh, stuff in other bags. Pedals. Literature, music, literature, uh, uh, notes, uh, cables, they already say cables, um, picks, uh, clippers, extra strings, cleaning cloth, everything. The more you can actually have in one location, the better. So we have a big external bag here. But then, of course, we have this, which is... Okay. What they need is a gig bag that has enough space for a 15-inch MacBook. That's that's what I'm saying. And look, look, someone listened to Le Idea. 
I'm not gonna say it was mine, but I'm gonna say it was mine. Um, I don't know what that is for. You can put. Not sure what that's for, but that's cool. I just don't know what it's for. So you can really get. Look at this. Ah. You can get quite a bit of shit in here. And you can open it wide enough to really get to it. And then there's a little compartment here. Which stretches for pics and phone and all that stuff. So I already like how far this opens. That is neat. And here this could be for... You could put a fly rig in here possibly. Uh, oh, that's thick. Look at this. It goes up quite, quite thick, so you could really stuff this with strings and... It doesn't open really far, but things also don't fall out because of those little flaps, which again are in Littleman color. You can put quite a bit of shit in here. That is neat. So once this is all stuffed... Yeah, nice. So, let's look at the inside. Let's look at this thing. Doesn't smell. This feels like cardboard. No, it's a. Looks like cardboard, but it's a rubbery neoprene thing. Is it anti slip? It's not as anti slip as I would want it, and I kind of feel. <laughs> okay, I'm, I kind of feel that the uh, fabric. Go away. Go, go away! I kind of feel that the fabric that is holding this in. Is counterproductive for the ant. It wants to sting me. It's counterproductive for the anti-slip, because it is going to sit on the fabric which is higher than the rubber. I don't feel that this is because in the end it's not going to sit on this. It's going to sit on the thing that is highest, which again is something that can slip. I feel that this possibly should be improved with something that is not held on by fabric. Just saying. So, oh, <laughs> Stefan was right. He said once you touch this, you just want to lie in it. Oh my god, this lies! Whoa! Wait, I'll, I'll be right, I'll be right back. I had to have Leslie touch it. And she did. And then also the gig back. Um, it's so soft. Does it need to be? I don't know. I mean, it's a guitar. But here, um, to protect from the bridge. Uh, very beautiful. And then we have a block. A beautiful soft block to put. Oh, that's nice. That's nice and bouncy. To put the neck on. And it clips on here. So that's abs that is neat. Here to protect from frizzling from the strings. And I love... This turquoise trimming everywhere. And down here, it's also... So this protects um, the bottom of the guitar from where the pin is. Let's put a guitar in. Let's stick with the colors. So here's my new prototype. <laughs> Let me do this. This is easy. On most guitars, I, on most kickbacks, I don't like how this is done because you have to do two flaps. This is super easy. The headstock is floating in the air now. That is nice. Oops. I like it a lot. Much thicker guitars would fit in here. So, that works. Now, of course, the big question is, can I do this? Without the guitar breaking. I'm really hoping that I can. Obviously the guitar is fine, he said. <laughs> and obviously it is. That is something, of course, that a gig bag needs to survive. This is nice, durable material. Let's kick it a bit, come on. I'm not fully stepping on it, I'm not an idiot. But that works. I do prefer gig bags over cases. Because A, with a case, bye. 
With the case, you kind of have the security, you think you have the security, of throwing it in the trunk and putting other stuff on top of it. Would you really, would you really put amp heads and other stuff on top of your guitar case? I wouldn't. Because the main surface is still kind of bendy. So a case is bulky and heavy. And I don't necessarily think protects your guitar tons better than a gig bag. The thing is with the gig bag, you will always position that much, much more secure. You put it behind the car seat, you put it on the drive, on, on, the, on the passenger seat, you put that on top of everything, because in a gig bag, you feel that your guitar needs to be protected by yourself a little bit more. So you are more careful instead of just throwing shit. So for me, a gig bag is safer because you'll treat it differently. I love the fact that you can smack that on your back and you're good to go. So, this thing is 79 bucks and I think they hit all the important details. It's light. It actually is very light, which also have to consider a gig bag itself has a weight. Um, so let's look at some options. 79 bucks. I do not have all the pricing for all the gig bags I have. I have the pricing for this. It's called the Rock Bag Starline. Oh, that's for the hollow body. Okay, so that's a little bit bigger. Um, the normal Starline for electric guitars also clocks in at 79, and I have to say, I very much like it. So this is Warwick, Rock Bag by Warwick, but I will never let any personal feelings I might have for the company influence my opinion of the product. That would be very bad. Also beautiful material inside. There's a little, where do we see this? Somewhere? Yeah, there's a little leather thing right in here. Uh, same thing to protect the bottom. There's something here, here, all the same features. Um, this has a little bit of a different neck thing. And again, where you do this, I don't like that as much as the, the, the uh, Toma one, but then you have, what is this for? Why can you, that's kind of strange. Why would you put something behind here? Is that meant to be a bag? I don't know, but it's kind of cool. Maybe you can put tools on there? I don't know. Okay, why not? Um, this has a little bit of cardboard or something inside it. The zipper is not as protected as... Uh, and it's... come on. As the Toman bag. However, for the price of 79 euro, this is a very, very solid bag. Don't quite know why you have to close this thing up like this. What 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 the deal is? What would you put in between here? Usually this is when you have another thing and you put them together. So that doesn't quite make sense. Um, I like the external bag. It's nice and big. It carries the second shoulder strap but you have something where you can quickly throw uh, something in that you need to reach. I like the Velcro. Again, same thing here. You're not clipping anything in here, so I don't quite know why they did these. That's pointless. Um, I like this for, I don't know, water bottle or maybe some cables or, I don't know, a tripod or something you just want to quickly hang. Again, an external bag. The more bags you have, the better. So for the price, uh, the Rock Bag Starline it, it is, it is uh, case-like, having like a, an actual edge, an actual uh, little wall, probably with cardboard in it. So I really can recommend these. I would absolutely trust my guitars in them without a question. Probably would I prefer one over the other? Purely out of personal feelings, I would probably prefer the Toman. Also, I like the colors. Um, the bag's bigger. Uh, I like the handle a lot on the Toman, the padded strap. They're both great bags, no question about it. Now, I don't know what the pricing is on this. This is an access bag. It is ridiculously light, and it is meant for uh, hollow bodies, so that's why it's a little bit bigger. Uh, this is the Stage 1. You can clearly see it's a simpler bag because it has one big uh, pocket, 
That's it. But do we need to move this? One big pocket. It is extremely light. Uh, these are sewn on, so you always have both. You don't have, you know... What, what is, how is it here? Ah, oh, these are also sewn on, so you don't have the option of just using one. Uh, that would annoy me a little bit, because I like to really just have this one to throw it on. Nah, well... If I walk further, I want both, but I would like the option to clip it on if I wanted to. Um, but these access stage ones are pretty nice bags. Also a little bit like a case with a higher side here. What is this? Um, just like a little nylon, not really... Um, it's nicely padded, but nothing sexy about it. Um, no idea what the price is. It has to be maybe around 50, 60 bucks. Now here's the Access Stage 5. And that has a lot more bells and whistles, like um, really nice metal trimmings here, here, there. Uh, seriously heavy metal, I get it, um, for the strap, which of course there's a second one, both of them clip in in the middle. Very nicely padded strap, but you can completely remove it maybe for the plane, something like this. Second one clips down here. This is solid as shit. Very nicely padded handle. Big ass handle here because I do like to carry the guitars like this sometimes down the downstairs or whatever. Um, we have a smaller sized... Is there money in there? Oh no. Damn. A smaller sized uh, bag here. Double bag here. Each with two zippers. Here's the second strap. And there's more stuff in here. So uh, also, lots of little baggies in here, very nice. What is in here? Strings! EXL tens, balance tension. A full set of strand, uh, tens, oh, jackpot! Well, I paid for them at some point. Um, an extremely nice bag. Soft, not as soft as the others. Um, oh, this is like one of these, like, like the pillows with all the little nibbles in it. Nothing to strap it on, uh, st strap anything onto, but this is of course a bag for a guitar like this. So if I put this in here, it'll beautifully sit in here. It is a little bit too big. You might want to pad that up a little bit or not, because once you close it up, it's all good. So I'd always trust a bag like this with my guitars. The Access Stage 5. No idea how much that is. Should we look it up? Let's see if I can find it. So uh, in looking for the price for this, I was not successful. And then Jason McNamara called. So hey, Jason McNamara. We talked about stuff. Um, I have to cut all this out. So don't know about the price of the Stage 5. You find out. Um, Next in our big gig bagathon. Say that the big gig, <laughs> big gig bagathon, gig big bagathon, gig big bagathon. Wow, um, I bought this in America at some point. Oh, it's Levi's. Believe us, it's made in Canada. I didn't know. Now I even know the brand. Uh, guitar research. I took this to quite a few things. It's, it's a very simple thing with like just tubes around these. Um, don't know how much it was, you can clearly see this is a simple bag. I always liked it because it's so compact. There's no frills, this, this is a bag. This for me wasn't the take it to a gig. It wasn't the take it to guitar lessons because I had to get stuff in it. This is the great throw the guitar in, take it to the trade show and then store this somewhere, a uh, gig bag. Because it is pretty well padded. Oh, there's nuts in there. Why are there nuts in there? I don't think it comes with the nuts. I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that a mouse lived in here. In the attic. So I was like this. Now I'm going to close it up and wash my hands. Later. 
Okay, cool. Uh, that is guitar research on it. Um, I love this. This is a quick gig bag for the, you know, guitar number four to put it in the corner. We have a few more. This is the uh, Toman Deluxe gig bag. Is there a... Let's see how much... Uh, made in India. It's made in India by a friend of mine. Toman. Let's see if I type this in how much this is. Okay, one, two, one. Five, five. Right. Yep, so this is $17.90. Extremely inexpensive. You're gonna throw an expensive guitar in the trunk of your car with this? I wouldn't. Um, I would very carefully stack this somewhere. It's a rougher material, you can put some things in there. It opens to the side for some reason. Um, I only have this on loan. I actually carry, uh, got my new signature guitar here with it. It's it's not a nice material inside. It's padded, probably a good half centimeter. Um, but, come on, it's 80 bucks. What, what are you gonna expect? Again, it opens to the side, which is kind of weird. But two rather big bags on it. Medium padded, of course, sewn on. It's not a bad bag, a bad bag. It's not a bad bag. Uh, but this, it, it doesn't have any stability in itself. So this is what your guitar neck neck will have to carry. Um, again, you got an inexpensive guitar, this will do. It's not going to be scratched, it's not going to be dented. Um, the back will absorb any shock. If you love your instrument, get something higher. Yeah, you want to store a guitar under the bed, this is killer. Um, you know, you're 12, this is killer. Again, you get what you pay for. But for 18 bucks, this is absolutely recommended just to order with whatever you order for your kids uh, for like a first set. Now, this was a brand they had a couple years ago, which I really love. It's called Tribal Planet. I don't know if they still have this. Uh, with these molded exterior bags on it. So, this isn't like a pocket, but kind of like a... Cardboard slash plastic mold. Um, protects rather nicely. Whatever is in there. And then the same thing here. You could get like a little fly rig um, in there. So, well, of course, that's kind of stupid because when you open this up, doink, everything falls out. Uh, because there's no lip on here. The lip is here. That's kind of a stupid ass design. What were they thinking? Because when you open this up, things should stay inside. Well, okay then. Um, I always like this. I took this to my guitar lessons quite a bit. As you can see, a dog. It looks like it could be Congo. I think Congo was lying in this quite a bit when she was still around. Um, it's nicely padded. It, it feels more like a case than a gig bag. Really, probably two centimeter walls, two centimeter padding all around. Tribal Planet, probably not around anymore, but I like these sturdier style bags that kind of like, you know, hold their shape you, where you really need some force to bend that. So uh, I, like, I like this type of bag very much. Now we come to, now we come to some Nicer bags. This, I would love to tell you how much it is. Oh, there's a shirt. Why is there a shirt? What's on that shirt? Reverb. I got reverb in here. Why do I have that in there? Henning Pauli. That's my NAM badge. Oh, and throat lozenges. Look at all the stuff you can put in here. Um, so there's a bag here, there's a bag here. Uh, I got this to move the Friedman guitar um, from LA here. So yes, I transported a 3,200 euro guitar in this bag that I got from my friend, whose name I can't tell you, because um, it's a secret, um, at NAM. Oh, there's more strings in here. And there's some NYXLZs. I have to take the stuff out of here. Um, so 
three different kind of bags in one. Nothing here, which is kind of sad. It is a fake leather, so it feels rubbery, but very nice. So sewn on straps, but very, very nice. Beautifully padded fish kind of a something scale area here for your back. So when you're carrying it, you don't have this shit on your back. Um, yeah, the handle could be more padded. It's, and as you can see, it kind of folds in the middle because it's not padded enough. It doesn't hold its own thing. Um, this is kind of neat. I don't know if I would use that, to be honest. Serious metal clippies on it. Um, but I don't quite know if I would use that because how? It doesn't have a, uh, a shoulder part that would probably hurt. Well, I don't know if I'm, if I'm actually going through the airport now. I mean, why, why would I use that? If I would always use that. Um, I don't know if I had a backpack, then I could use that in addition to the backpack strap. Yeah, so it might make sense. Plus, you can also, of course, just take that off and put it in here. So, gone. Um, I like that it has a metal hook there and a plastic hook here for different hook options. Oh, wait, it has a bag up here. Look at that! It's hidden! <gasps> I It's so hidden I had no idea. So here for a address label, here for your gun, if you're American, or a hunting knife, I don't know. But that's a totally hidden compartment. Um, so let's look at the actual guitar area, which is very nice, because it's so friggin' soft. It's so awesomely soft. And a pocket for the neck, protected from all sides. Uh, but again, you have to strap it with two sides. You can take this whole thing off if you wanted to. Definitely a super nice bag. Again, a protection here. Protection here. Now, I got this from my friend who make these bags for other companies, hint, hint, um, at the uh, NAMM show. And I think before you go and spend a lot of money on a true leather mega gig bag, this is as good as it gets, probably in a lower price range. So I very much like this. Now, do I like it more or less than the Toman one? Toman one is reminiscent of another brand, let's say that. It's reminiscent of another brand. Um, I would say they're probably equally cool. I like the style of the Toman one a little bit more, and I love this handle. I love this handle. This is awesome. So, taking what we just had, fake leather, but kind of luxurious. Let's go into the emperor discipline, which is real leather over 300 bucks. This thing, I think, clocks in at 310, something like this. Um, it is by itself without a guitar in there. Very heavy. I can't tell you in heaviness increments, which is measurement weight. Some oh, oh, here's a strap for my McMahon. Huh. Um, of course, with the frame comes the user kit, which by itself oh, is not that heavy. It is definitely the bag that has the weight. Now your guitar will be absolutely protected in this. Um, but you have to know that you are carrying quite a bit of weight. Uh, this says, of course, Framus Custom Shop Master Build. I don't think it'll say that on uh, the one that you can buy. Now, in terms of handles, th this is ultra solid stuff. Yeah, you clip this in. You can grab it here. There's a nice pocket up here, which holds open by itself. The thing that makes this expensive is, of course, the material, the stitching. Um, these you could take off if you wanted to. 
It's very solid construction there, of course. Um, extremely nicely padded in this area. It's a solid bag. Down here, something that is kind of neat, but it also could possibly be annoying. Um, you have to close this and then you can't actually open the bag. I don't know, it might be so that you can't open the bag. Um, and it's also, of course, protection when it's standing. It doesn't have any other protection here, so there's no rubber, there's no anti-slip, there's no nothing, which is probably something it should have. So maybe even on this, just a piece of rubber or something to be anti-slippy. That's probably something I would critique on this. Um, inside, okay, well, uh, the guitar, Murple, was of course wrapped in this velvet. The inside is nice. I have to say, it's not as nice feeling as some of the other bags. Uh, but there's the lip around here. This is a good four centimeters mega protection in all, on to all sides. Um, you have a, a neck thing that you, you can take it off, okay. Uh, straps in from both sides, protected up here, down there. The padding, in, that actually feels a little bit like Tempur-Pedic foam or something. Yes, it does. Only a little bit, um, which of course it wouldn't help you because the guitar is not not warm blooded. Um, to all directions, it is a very thick sausage. It's a thick sausage of protection. Um, definitely a high end bag. Um, now, do you need to spend this much money on it? If you want real leather, yeah. There's also harvest bags, which are very similar. Um, if you have a super high end PRS, Framus, Fender Custom Shop, any of that, and you just want the bag to match the style and exclusivity of the guitar, then one of those rock bags um, might be for you. It's, uh, it is, it's pretty damn heavy though. So traveling with this, I'd be afraid to kill my back. I'm, I'm honest. I would probably rather take the Starline from, uh, from Warwick, uh, from Rock Bag, uh, or the Torman Bag, and feel just as protected. Obviously, with the leather, that's the other thing, it is hard to pierce. So if something on a plane or in a car slips, a Tom stand or who knows what, piercing this would be difficult. Piercing one of the nylon bags is easier. So yeah, there is more protection. So here's a bag that I had for a long, long time. Now, something you see compared to the rock bag is it's not in itself sturdy. So I always had a little bit of a feeling that the, that the guitar neck has to support this weight. Talking about weight, this bag also uh, does clock in it quite a bit of weight, even without the guitar. Now, I bought this when I started Berkeley and I bought it in Boston and uh, they didn't tell me, because I'm an idiot, that it's for bass. I always had my guitars in there. I carried them to Berkeley in this most of the time on the train. I killed my back because again, it weighs quite a bit itself, uh, but it was my bag and uh, I've had this for 18 years now and it's not quitting. So yeah, I spent 280 bucks at Guitar Center. Um, the good thing is it was also for bass, which means I've been moving my basses around in this. So bass guitar, it's been my all, it's been my go-to thing when I really wanted to protect my instruments. Uh, the thing I always hated was this. Yeah, it's nice with the leather thing, but I mean, you always have to go through this and then that and then close it and then I want to get to something. Um, very limited. Ah, I've been looking for this. My Line 6 G30 Relay. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Found it. I'm so glad I made this video. What else is in here? Ooh, power cable. A power cable. Nice. A pen. And a set of Warwick stainless steel bass strings. A cork tuner that now has some black shit in it. Bye-bye, <laughs> uh, a cork tuner. 
and some batteries. Uh, I think it might be from the batteries. Nope. Put them right back in there. So this type of thing, it's not practical because you have to open and close and it just isn't. Um, here you close it up with a button, which is annoying. Um, yeah, you could take this off, which is good. These are not padded enough to really... Or that. I'm happy I got something else now, let's put it this way. Uh, again, the stability of the neck will have to carry this, which is quite quite heavy. Um, the fact that the zipper and everything lasted 18 years without ever letting me down means it's good to invest in something like this. It's very soft inside, but you can see that it doesn't hold its shape at all. So that means it is nicely padded, and it's definitely with its leather um, suede. Let's, let's call it suede, right? Yep, um, it is protected from the stabbiness. I, I think it would be rather difficult to stab through here with something that accidentally falls on it. But it just doesn't hold its shape, which means the guitar will have to hold its own. So yeah, I'd rather go for that rock bag if I want leather or a harvest bag. Question is, is it necessary? 79 bucks. Toman Voyager. Solid bag. We just looked at tons of gig bags. That's what this was about. But pretty much to show you the new Toman Voyager bag. Pretty cool. 79 bucks. Links below. Animals at the end.